According to Maslow hierarchy of needs theory, shelter is one of the basic needs of men and ranks nest only to air, food, water and sleep. This underscores the importance of housing to the well-being of the people. Research has it that the real estate sector in Nigeria, compared to the rest of the world, where it is the largest sector in countries like the US and Australia in terms of contributions to GDP, and also provides the largest employment in Australia. It is contributing less than an average of 7% to GDP and only 1% to employment in Nigeria. This is Housing Development, a program where we discuss housing and all that concerns it. As always, I am Fleur Ani, your housing diva. Coming up after the news, we shall be discussing the housing deficits in the country and the Honorable Minister of Works in Housing Position statement on this. Stay tuned. State Governor Abdurrahman Abdurrazak presented checks to 463 beneficiaries of the Home Renovation Loan Scheme of the Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria in the state. Represented by the Deputy Governor, Mr. Kayode Alabi, the Governor promised to mobilize available resources and grab every opportunity to improve the well-being of civil servants as well as the ordinary citizens. The Home Renovation Loan Scheme is an initiative of the Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria designed especially for contributors to the National Housing Fund to benefit from their contributions on lower interest rates. The State Head of Service, Modupe Oluwole, advised current and future beneficiaries to utilize the loan for its original purpose. The Lagos State Government has said the newly introduced Lagos State Property Taxation Software mobile app will help in effective property administration and revenue generation. In a statement, the Permanent Secretary, Lagos State Ministry of Finance, Mrs. Oyeyemi Ayola, said that the mobile app was designed to improve land use charge operations, enhance revenue base, and expand the quality of data and its availability in the state. Also speaking on the issue, project manager Mrs. Nike Jolasimi explained that the app would enable the Ministry of Finance to effectively monitor and control the land use charge, LUC, revenue generation process in the state. The 15th edition of the Abuja International Housing Show which takes place between the 22nd and 29th of July, is said to bestow honor to three Nigerian governors with its Nigerian Housing Award for contributions to housing. This year's award recipients are Governor of Borno State, Babagana Umara Zulum, Governor of Lagos State, Babajide Samwolu, and the Governor of Yobe State, Meimala Buni. This year's award ceremony focuses on governors to reward their excellent and unparalleled contributions to housing delivery in their various states. President, Nigerian Institute of Building, Mr. Kunde Awobodu, harped on the mandate and importance of a builder at the 2021 Fellows Induction Ceremony and Dinner, adding that only registered builders are permitted by the Nigerian law to construct, maintain, and deconstruct. Awobodu stressed that the builder is required to ensure safe and sustainable shelter for man, which is only possible if every participant in a building project plays their part well. He admonished the conferees to see this fellowship as a charge from the society to do more. By generating ideas and contributing to policy issues for the progress of the building profession, the housing industry, and the nation as a whole. The Brotherhood Cadre is the highest professional cadre in the membership of the NROB. It is a cadre rich through deeds of hard work and societal impact. Among the prospective conferees are high ranking academics, technocrats, accomplished private sector entrepreneurs, and researchers. An African housing finance organization, Shelter Africa, which is one of the sponsors of the 15th Abuja International Housing Show, AIHS, will be hosting stakeholders in the housing industry drawn from different countries who will be participating at this year's AIHS. In a statement released in Abuja, the company said it is ready to meet with major stakeholders towards increasing affordable housing delivery in Nigeria, which is its second largest investor. To this end, day four of this year's Abuja International Housing Show, which has been declared Shelter Afrique Red and Day, is a day for every estate developer to attend and participate. <laughs>
What is the name of my grandson? Suleiman. That's a good name. May the Almighty preserve him. I mean. Now that your family is growing, this is the time for you to start thinking of a house of your own. Abba, the thought of this has always been on my mind. To build a house now, you need a lot of money. And that is what is holding me back. Sunny, what you need is a mortgage. NHF Mortgage Loan. With NHF Mortgage Loan, you own a house up front and pay gradually over a long period of time. Abba, I will go to the FMBN office right away. Come join us at FMBN and let's shelter Nigeria together. For more house and finance and construction news, visit www.africanhousingnews.com. The Minister for Works and Housing has debunked the claim that Nigerian housing deficits, which is said to be within the range of 17 million to 22 million, is true. The Minister disagrees, stating the figures of these deficits have not been ascertained. Reacting to this statement, the President of Housing Development Advocacy Network, Festus Adebayo, has this to say. So that's serious, that the figure that the whole house industry have been using for many years is not correct, that it is a lie, it means a lot. This is a figure that almost all the university, this is a figure that even the Central Bank of Nigeria, this is a figure that most of our senior political leaders have been using. 17 million, 18 million, 22 million housing deficit. So it's okay. That is a lie. But just that. I feel very bad that it took the minister no less than four, five years to discover the lie. So that's okay. We appreciate it our minister. So, the challenge now is that we have to work with the minister to discover the truth. We have to go on the way of getting the truth. This cannot be done by the ministers alone. All the leading stakeholders, advocacy group, professional bodies must be on the same page with the Honorable Minister. We cannot afford to be saying, hey, the figure is this, while the minister will be saying the other one. We need to be together, because if we are not one, it's going to have a very serious effect on that sector that's supposed to be creating the largest employment, largest job in the country. I'm aware that a lot of effort has been taking place among the stakeholders on how to get data for the sector. And that is to let you know the importance of data. I can see why we cannot deliver the houses. Because we don't even have the data to work with. We don't have information on who or what category of people need the houses. All that we are seeing or we keep talking about most of the time that they are occupied houses. When we are talking about unoccupied houses, who are the people that own the unoccupied houses? These are not the houses that we are talking about. The houses we are talking about are those houses that the people below the ladder need to live. That is just the issue. As one of the collaborators of Abuja International Housing Show, uh, I think as we approach the 15th Abuja International Housing Show, this will be our major focus. Since all the leading major stakeholders will be at that event, we must come together and start a way forward. We must be on the same page with the minister, as I earlier said. My thinking is that the private sector should be in the forefront of getting data for the Nigeria housing industry. And look for instance, Ghana, they've done their housing needs survey. Kenya, they've done their housing needs survey. 
And I'm also aware that Rwanda have also done their housing need survey. So what is disturbing her? What is making us not to do our own? So at Abuja International Housing Show, in a few days to this time, this is going to be our number one priority. We must come together and agree on the way to get our data. If it's going to be private sector financed, I'm sure it's possible. In the course of that, we can get international support. I'm aware that the Federal Ministry of Works and Housing, the Family, family Home Fund, Federal Mortgage Bank, NMRC, Central Bank of Nigeria need this data to deliver the houses, need this data to provide decent houses for Nigeria. So we will all come together, support Nigeria Bureau of Statistics, collaborate with the Nigerian Population Commission, and see how within one year we can address this matter. We need data now than before, because if we don't, a lot of investors who want to finance housing in Nigeria, we use this as an excuse why they cannot invest in our sector. So I hope to see you at Abuja International Housing Show on 26 to 29 at International Conference Center. Our minister will be with us. We also, all of us, we talk together and provide a way forward. The chance to be a homeowner in Abuja is here, thanks to DeMarc Integrated Projects Limited, unveiling the DeMarc Hillview Estate in Kubwa, Abuja, which boasts of luxury flats with the option of two or three bedrooms with flexible payment plans. DeMarc Hillview Estate features water board supply and borehole, dedicated transformer, adequate drainage systems, spacious ensuite bedrooms, and CCTV with 24-hour on-site monitoring. We also have duplexes in Kabusa and City Gate. For inquiries, visit DeMarc Hillview Estate behind Liberty Hotel near Living Faith Church, Biajin, Kubwa, Abuja. You can visit our website, www.demarcprojects.com or send an email to demarcprojects at gmail.com. You can also call 0803-4506-661 or 0802-6384-618 or 0815-7002-799. Demark Hillview Estate, a place you can call home. Festus Adebayode, the president of Hejden and the convener of Abuja International Housing Show, reacting to the statement made by the Honorable Minister of Works and Housing, Mr. Babatunde Fashola. The fact still remains that Nigeria still has a housing deficit. Getting the right figure should be the topmost priority for all stakeholders involved. I'm Debbie Erb. I work for OPIC in the United States and uh, keep watching the affordable housing development program. Family Homes Funds Limited, through Family Homes Sukuk Issuance Program PLC, has successfully completed the issuance of 10 billion Naira seven years, 13% Series 1 Ijara Lease Sukuk due 2028 under the 830 billion Naira Sukuk Issuance Program. Chairman of FHFL, Suleiman Barao, alongside the Managing Director and CEO, Femi Adewale, speaking in Abuja at the signing ceremony, says with this issuance on a 30 billion naira bond comes a commitment to further strengthen finance development of affordable housing in Nigeria, put more families in homes and create more jobs in the process. The great leap we are witnessing today is possible because of the kind support we receive um, from the Honorable Minister um, you know, Hasep, who on behalf of Mr. President and the federal government has been the backbone of the Family Homes Funds. By her special focus on Family Homes Funds, the Honorable Minister has through her great leadership um, skills always provided the necessary back it needed uh, for the institution to deliver effectively on its mandate, including being the first to issue corporate Sukuk bond. So the credit must go um, to her and indeed to the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. 
The net proceeds of this insurance will finance new homes for Nigerians, particularly those who are on low income across our great nation. It will contribute to our objective of developing up to 200,000 homes by December 2022 under our corporate plan. This is a landmark event in the unfolding history of what is a very young organization, but with a strong vision to transform the housing market by making safe, decent housing accessible to the overwhelming proportion of our population, particularly those who are on low income. According to FHFL, the book build process for the transaction was launched on Friday, June 25, 2021, and completed on Tuesday, July 6, 2021. The issuance was launched at a rental rate of 13% per annum. Notwithstanding current market dynamics and volatility, this debut transaction had tremendous support from the debt capital markets. Meanwhile, Minister of Finance Zainab Ahmed, represented by Permanent Secretary of the Ministry, congratulating FHFL on this feat, says President Mohamed Bwari has a deep interest to provide accommodation for Nigerians and would provide necessary support to achieve it. Also, representatives of issuing houses elated at this major breakthrough for the Nigerian capital markets say this is a major boost for the nation's economy. On behalf of the federal government of Nigeria, I would like to congratulate the Family Homes Funds, the DMO and the SEC and other people who made this and other partners who made this happen and other professional parties involved in this great success today. I believe that this has been a very long and demanding journey for which we should all commend the board and management of Family Homes Funds and all the parties related to this issuance and um, for getting us to where we are today. It's been an arduous journey and the Family Homes Fund team have subjected themselves to ratings. They've subjected themselves to sessions with Frace. I believe there were about four of those sessions that we attended. And here we are today celebrating the fact that Family Homes Sukuk Issuance Program PLC has established a 30 billion Sukuk Issuance Program and we set out to raise 10 billion, but the book was in excess of 25 billion. So congratulations to the Family Homes Fund team. Congratulations on the issuance of the first ever certified uh, corporate Sukuk issuance in the Nigerian capital market. Chairman Family Homes Funds reiterates that this step by FHFL is a part of strategies implemented to address the Nigerian housing deficit and was achieved with support of Baruch Capital Limited, Chapel Hill Denham, Metropolitan Law Firm, Central Bank of Nigeria, among others. Welcome back. The program is housing development. Sometimes, being a gracious host can come back to bite you in the backside. While having a guest for a few days can be lovely at first, there can come a point where you need your space to yourself. Now, what is the most tactful way to let someone know they have overstayed their welcome in your house? Let's find out on Voices on the Streets. as simple as calling her to, to know it that madam you've overstayed and i want to go it's, just, it's not my house it's my house so it doesn't take anything it is better for me to keep in her in my house that she's inconveniencing me and i am not happy she is not going to be happy to maybe because of my attitude it is better sit her down tell her the madam the agreement or whatever you ought to have left the house last week last month now you are overstaying and your being overstaying is inconveniencing me first of all my attitude did tell you like the way i will start behaving because i can't actually come straight to you and tell you to leave my house and the rest that will not deprive you of the things i've been giving you when you came in newly but my attitude will show you but if your common sense should tell you to leave my house already because they're not getting the vibe we are getting right, right from the moment you step into the house. Instead of me doing so, uh, hiding it to you, or maybe you're hearing it some people about that, and maybe that this person say that uh, he's tired with you. I don't, I won't like you to go that way. I'll better come out and tell you that yes, 
I'm done with you. There is no hidden agenda there. You pretend as if you don't hear the person, you don't know what the person is talking about. What do I mean by that? By chatting, you know, using your phone. Like when the person is like asking you question or having a conversation with you and you're busy, you know, pressing your phone, you're busy interacting, chatting with your phone. Like you've given a signal that, nah, it's like I need to leave. This person doesn't want me any longer. Okay, secondly, when you're, you have a guest and you don't offer that person anything, not even a cup of water, the person will definitely leave. You have to let the person know that uh, it's or uh, her. It's inconveniencing you, son. That you need your privacy, son. Because I know that if all things been equal, the person would have left. You wouldn't want such thing to, to occur. Based on a personal uh, base, I will address it in this way. Sister, brother, we have a program in the church today. Will you mind following me to the program? Because it's almost time. Now, if the person really understands that he or she had overcome the state, she might say, or he might say, okay, some other time, they can make that person to go. And if you really want to follow me, then you can follow me. That this is if I'm done, this is how I will discharge somebody that overstay her welcome. That on the other side, if it's not going to church, if it's not my, uh, on my activity day, and I'm no longer comfortable with your presence, I can say, okay, please, can we stroll out? Let's buy something. Then we can still stay out there. We can spend the time out there. If I'm not okay with the person present, so these are two ways. Personally, I would discharge somebody from my house. I mean, to give the person a heads up first, maybe two months or three months heads up about the expiration of her rent. I guess the person will be preparing for that at the end of the month or the time due that you're giving the person. Uh, I'll just ask uh, what their plans of living is. How they plan to leave because if we didn't have an agreement that they will stay longer than they've stayed, I'll ask what their plan is and if it's okay for me, I, I can ask. If it's not okay, I'll ask them to, to bounce. Voices on the street there, people's reaction on ways to handle house guests that stay too long in their homes. Coming up next is Abuja International Housing Show. This show has been amazing. I would say that I've actually learned a lot and networked with um, a whole lot of um, real estate developers out there. So it's been insightful so far. Like, I'm really overwhelmed. Really, really overwhelmed. I've learned a lot. We must thank Abuja Housing Show for giving us this opportunity. And we are so pleased to interact with the people in the audience here. They are showing a lot of interest and curiosity. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. I am so particularly impressed by the content of delivery. First and foremost, the awareness, the publicity. Prior to this time, I have three, four partners who have called me to remind me that they have seen adverts of Abuja International Show on television, on news media. Am I going to be here? I was really amazed that if people are not in the sector are so aware of this, then the organizers of the same must have done a lot to get people's attention and that's quite a commendable feat. Abuja Housing Show is a very productive uh, event. You come around here to meet over 50,000 persons. It's been very productive. I mean, since we started coming here, there has been a greater brand awareness and uh, you meet the corporate world, you meet the public, you meet the masses and then, you know, you do business in a great way and in a special way. I think that's part of the reason why we're here. Very impressive. Absolutely impressive. Every year, this exhibition keeps growing bigger. Uh, uh, greater attendance, global attendance, and this is an improvement of the very excellent one we had last year also. It's very amazing. It's an uh, amazing experience so far. The turnout has been good. We have been getting a lot of uh, customers coming up and uh, overall it's been uh, amazing so far. I can tell you authoritatively that um, I have met my expectations already. 
because what I have seen, the kind of people, caliber of people that have come around here, people are enthusiastic about what we do. We've taken people to sites, they've gone there. And I can tell you that we have made sales. That's the most important thing, and I'm happy to report that. So I'm a happy CEO, I can tell you. Nigeria has continued to face housing deficit, and this shortfall is being recorded in the face of rising population and costly apartment. This deficit has become a cause for concern among Nigerians as the gap between demand and supply widens. Apart from the fact that several Nigerians find it difficult to get a roof over their heads, we still continue to see unoccupied houses, especially in urban areas. It is time to unravel the housing statistics in the nation to establish an adequate housing data. On that note, I wrap up today's episode of Housing Development. Thanks for watching. I remain your housing diva, Flora Annie. Do stay safe out there.